Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Neopets Dailies with Toast. I hope you've had a wonderful week and are sitting nice and rested. I hope that you are keeping up with your health and everything is going great for you. Um, I also hope that everyone had a lovely Valentine's Day um, this past week. I definitely had some nice little roses and chocolates given to me by my husband, which was very much appreciative. So, um, let's get started with a Neopets dailies. Um, first I don't have too terribly much to update. Um, I did update the background to be a little bit more festive for this uh, holiday season, plus going into spring. I do kind of like the pink colors. Um, one thing I'd like to point out with my pets, Diddy here, who I had the Nostalgic NC um, Fairy uh, Ixie token on her. Um, I did end up painting her, so she was a blue Ixie, and I wanted to eventually paint her Fairy maybe, but I ended up painting her pastel and I decided to customize her with some of the new um, Valentine's Day stuff that they just brought out um, in the NC mall. And I still have the NC Fairy Ixie token, so I'm, I might put that back on her later, but for now she's kind of just chilling like this. Um, more updates. I actually painted ELT's pet Sharky, um, is now a Terranian Nirana. I attached him, like, really early. He's only, like, a couple days out of sync with, like, how old ELT himself is, so I didn't want to detach him, but I felt like he needed an update, you know, instead of just being a normal little Nirana, so I ended up making him Terranian. Um, nothing new with Vulgar and Duke. Soft fill still has the same uh, pet pet. I, I know that I changed at least one other pet pet. I, oh, yes. Lemonade. Um, I ended up painting her. Um, if she had a Christmas tree looking meow clops, I painted her a fairy. So I thought that was really cute. Um, so I thought that that kind of like matched her a little bit better. Because I kind of like the whole, like, scary cute aesthetic with her. Um, I think this is new for this week, but um, I painted um, Crocus's Croc Kiss Fairy, um, which I'm excited about. I wanted to do that for a while. I still not decided on what color Kadoti I want Kadoti to have. Uh, I was thinking pink, but maybe something else. And um, I ended up picking up this really cute fairy Fally recently, just at an auction randomly. I saw it and I was like, I have to have it. And so I gave ended up giving that to Katerie. She did have a slorg, but it was wasn't super old on her so I, I felt okay to detach um yeah I think that's it for all the pet updates really really so um let's talk about the neopies for a second so they've been giving out like really good prizes for the neopies I haven't really gotten anything great um I did get like a magical chia potato chia pop um, that I stuck in my safety deposit box. Um, everything else that I've gotten so far has been pretty much junk. <laughs> um, and so I did want to kind of cover some of the other one, other votes that went through. So I think last time we were here, we were voting on this and I ended up voting on this guy but he won which was going to be my other vote um festival of negs 
best prize. I voted for the Polar Lights foreground just because I have that on Catery and I really like it. Um, and then the Plasma Effect one, which I mean, honestly, that's really cool. So I could see that. Um, Pebble, of course, won best prize. It honestly should have been a toss up between Pebble, Snow Eckle, Candy Chan Stamp, and Kadoti. That would have been a hard one to pick because I mean obviously the pebble is gonna win like really best NP wearable um service pet dog fox was the winner so honestly not bad I did vote for the wings I mean it's kind of hard for me to choose because I wasn't here for the fairy fest which I think most of these came out on um best new NP item I voted for the Spell Maiden Quiguki doll and got the Fiora Gnome. And oh, we're going back in time, aren't we? And I voted for this comic, which also won. Um, so I guess after that, uh, we have best caption image. I voted for her just because I don't know. I thought this was, I guess, the best. I don't know. It was a hard choice for me on this one. I thought this one was interesting too but uh she ended up winning of course illison um best site event i voted for the fairy festival because realistically this is what brought me back even though i completely missed the fairy festival it was watching um the amanda files coverage on the fairy festival and then other youtubers talking about the fairy festival that i was like you know what and so by the time i finally like signed back on the fairy festival was over and advent calendar had begun so i mean that's a really close tie between 42 and 40 so advent calendar i think probably won because more people participated in it because they probably came back because of the fairy festival or post fairy festival um but from what i understand the fairy festival just seemed like a lot of fun with a lot of like things to participate in to you know take place um best pet pet color i voted for the elderly gathow because this is just the pet that i wanted um i mean obviously he's just like an old cat but i have him on janelle and he just kind of looks like a wet cat um and then the halloween hassie ended up winning i remember particularly this day when i voted for the elderly gathow I actually got the Halloween Hassy as the prize, and I was like, oh, thank you, I guess. Um, I mean, I think it's cute as heck, so I'm not going to knock that in the slightest. Um, best Neopet color, I chose purple er, Pastel Cow because I just think that's cute as heck, um, and that also ended up being the winner. Best Species Outfit, I voted on the Museum Rural, and that also was the winner. Um, I mean, but these were also, like, pretty good, too. Like, I think this looked really nice. I saw a custom with this, and I was like, what? That's awesome. That was the first time I'd seen it was somebody's custom, and I was like, that looks so cool. And then best NC event. I didn't join any of these, but I voted for the fairy one. Uh, I don't know why. Just because, I guess. And that one ended up being the winner, so. Yep, that's what's going on with the Europeans now. So today it says your ballot for best gift box mystery capsule. Um, so the only one I've seen physically since I came back was the Cutie Pie Wee Woo. Um, I actually ended up buying this on a side account so that I could send stuff over from my side to my main. Um, but like looking at all of these, I probably like this one the least it's cute but um these little dollops i'm assuming are of whipped cream look too much to me like garlic and so i'm like garlic on pie is not it um the kwiguki box mystery capsule i like but it just kind of looks just like a kwiguki doll like a boxy kwiguki doll it doesn't really look like a box or a capsule so I'm going to pass. Um, the Fally Fairy Falling Fally Foliage. They probably should have put an extra fall in here. Like the Fall Falling Fally Foliage gift box mystery capsule. That would have been funny. 
Fall is for frolicking. Sally loved to frolic in the fall leaves of this fall. Okay, yeah. but I did put a lot of F's in there. I love it. Um, I don't know. This is cute. I love the autumn core vibe. I hated saying that out loud. That was not it. Um, I do love autumn, though. Leaves and pumpkin pie are definitely, like, my thing. Um, but I just, I think this is my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. I just, I don't know. Like, he's, it's just a cute little bat. Look at that face. Like, uh, the sparkles and the Corbat cutie gift box mystery capsule. Like, I'm, I'm gonna vote on that one. Let's see what we get today. A zombie hot dog. Yep, absolutely garbage. Just what I was expecting. So, let's see what our daily dailies have in store for us today. And so we have purchase an item, spin the wheel of excitement, play a game, groom a pet, customize. Okay, so we're going to just go ahead and go straight to Fairland Healing Springs. And, oh, something has happened. You get home from a long day at the employment center to find that all your neopoints and items have been stolen. Your neopets are sick and your stocks have a shutter. Oh, thank Fiora. It was just a horrible, horrible dream. Oh my god, I hate this event. It's... Oh, I do have nightmares like that, for real. <laughs> um, Actually, last night I had a nightmare that um, Pokemon ended up being real, and nobody knew how to, like, deal with it because there weren't, like, Pokemon trainers. And... They were just running rampant, and all of these, like, really high-level Pokemon were just, like, destroying the cities and killing people, and it was just <laughs> an absolute nightmare. Um, but yeah, that was a fun dream. <laughs> uh, it's been a wheel of excitement. Um, ooh, Snowager sleeping. I'm doing this way too late for the day. Um, normally I try to do this in the morning. Or it, pretty much close as close to reset as possible, but I'm doing this what I would consider tomorrow, <laughs> uh, for when I usually do it. I don't know if that made any sense whatsoever. I'm from the future. No, I'm not. Um, some interest. That's interesting. And let's see here. Old San. I do what I will to help you find a dusty tome laying in the sand. At least it's not nothing. Where can you buy magical plushie? I want to say the uh, plushie shop, but I could be wrong. Plushie palace, yeah. Okay. The other place I would think would be Calvara's magical shop, but... Did I click on this yet? No. Finally, not nothing. 2,000 new points. I want items, bro. Give me, like, croc and drake morphing potions, please. Please. Paintbrushes, you know? Fun stuff. Uh, and a botly melon, okay. And we got lemon jelly. Yummy. And got some omelette. And Darky brought back a zombie handbook. Let's go ahead and send him in again. Look at all these cute pet pets. I love that I've painted most of them. You know, okay, that's good. Let's send him. I low key hate that I have Rograt with um my snow bunny. It's just because they were made a couple days past, uh, apart from each other, like. I have to wait a year. I don't know. I blah. Uh, something has happened. A drake flies past overhead. Is headed to Mystery Island. Okay. I got another um avatar from this. I got like Jester or something like that the other day. Um, I don't know why I'm putting that here. Brain power is not on today. Um, let's see. What do we got here? I can tell right off the bat that these two, and then, so we have three of these dudes, 
next to each other because that if that's right no no there's something in the middle okay um but these two overlap and then got these two and then that one uh, we try one of those. Is that? And then one of these here. Uh, and there's nowhere to put any of this. Hmm. Because we know that these two overlap. What if we do one of these? Wait, that's wrong. And one of those. But this doesn't fit anywhere. Oh my gosh. Um, I'll tell you what, I do not have the brain power for this today. We are going to have this thing solve it for us. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so they're all. So this and then that and then red and then one of those which would mean that This be like that. That and that. Oh wait, I freaking cheated it out and I still got it wrong. Uh, Cause that's supposed to be that one. There we go. <laughs> Yes, I had the answers there, and I still tried to figure it out after <laughs> getting me started. Don't don't ask me why. And nothing happened. Caslan is spell box. Okay. Check out. Rich lore gave us fifty cents. Nothing happened with the discarded magical blue brundo of prosperity. Tombola was closed. Check out the wise king. Not impressed. The scratch card. Let's see if we get anything good out of this today. Nope, nothing. All right, that's fine. Um, we also got buried treasure. Uh, coconut shy, and I just realized that we came here so that we could spin the wheel of one of those wheels. Yeah, we came here to spin the wheel of excitement. Did we do that? No, we're doing the rest of the alias. We'll go back to that though. So out of order today. See if we can get any oh, coconuts down. So I won a couple last month. Um, I don't know if I knocked them over or exploded the coconuts, but I know I got a couple coconuts down. 
which was great. So hopefully we can win something. I mean, I honestly never expect it to happen. It's just, if it happens, then it usually shocks the heck out of me. Because I never expect it. Honestly, even when I hit them and they jiggle a little bit, it's usually exciting. Okay, nothing today. Check out the fairy caverns. I swear, every time I end up getting to the treasure, it gives me like 400 Neo points. I'm like, how's that treasure? Spend more trying to go through the cave, you know? Anything here at the fairy treasure? No, nothing. That's fine. Um, portfolio. Finally got the avatar for this the other day. Uh, go ahead and buy some tricks. And hit it. Useless. As expected. Um, fairy quests. I don't know if I have to open a new thing or not. Oh, two more days, eh? Open one. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Shop Wizard first so that we can search for the item. Accept today's quest. She always gets me, I swear. I'm like, I like freeze for a moment. I'm like, is this the Fountain Fairy? Because that stupid rainbow behind her, but no. It's the Water Fairy. Sadly. And sixteen hundred. I'm not even gonna bother trying to find it cheaper. Okay. Go ahead and open that again. Turn it in. ELT's defense has increased. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and check out the wheel of excitement. Finally, spin the wheel. Excitement. And nothing. 186 new points. All right, so we lost new points on that. Um, I also need to play a game, groom a pet, and customize. Okay. So go ahead and check out games. Also, let's do Trudy's before I forget. I swear I accidentally missed her one of the days last week, and it reset, which I was like, I would have seen it, because I did all my dailies that day, but I guess I must have missed Trudy's, I think. And 1700. I think it was fine, because I had recently gotten the 100k, I think. I think. So... Just do Fashion Fever today. Something easy. All right. Send that in. Perfect. Claim our prize. Room a pet and customize a pet. So, this might sound silly, but I decided that I'm going to start collecting combs. Um, so I made a list of all the combs in the game. And this past week, I've just been going through here and finding a comb that I don't have. It's not too expensive. And buying it. Even though I still have my Illison comb, I just, I don't know why. I decided now I want all the combs in the game. So. 
Oh, look. They have a, a, a Rockwink alert up in their shop uh, image thing. So let's go ahead and groom Janiel with that. Perfect. Thanks, you're my favorite owner. Well, you're my favorite Moroccanwing alert. <laughs> All right, and customize a pet. Let's go here, customize. And claim. Put that cow ice lolly. Um. Whoa! I was like, what happened to his face? Okay. What are we gonna customize today? I did change her setup um, recently, which I'm like, this looks really cute. I kind of want to put this back on Crocus. And like, I want to figure out, I want, I want to figure out a way to utilize this. Okay, you know what? That doesn't look bad. Um, I wish these were a little bit shorter like i wish that i could shrink these up just a little bit so that they're not covering her um that's the only problem i have with those otherwise i really like them a lot um i think i'm just gonna keep that as is and then i'm gonna go back to i know that i've already like met the qualifier but um got this hot tub and I was like oh let's give this to Crocus and then had all these like fallen Mr. Cupid arrows with her as well and I was like that's cute but you know what let's uh throw this back on and wait what didn't I put that on what did that not save Weird. Okay, well, let's save that. Let's save successfully. Pictures up here. And okay, I don't know what happened. I guess it didn't save properly. Wait a minute. Wait a gosh darn minute. I, what? Oh, I liked how it looked when it was stacked. Whoops, doorbell rang. Uh, one of the reasons why I prefer filming late at night uh, instead of in the middle of the day, but that is what it is. Now, I'm trying to figure out, like, I think, this is a background item. This is also a background item. Lower foreground item slash background item. Wait, so it's affecting two zones? That's lame. It should totally be stackable. Um, I had something recently with Crocus. With the last outfit that, or customization or whatever, um, she was wearing with the hot tub. I couldn't stack it with the cupid arrows. But I was able to glitch it so that I was able to take both of them. But unfortunately I don't think that's working this time with this situation. Let's see. If I put that and then that and then that no if i put sorry bear with me if i put that and then that and then that damn it oh come on neopets loosen up <laughs> loosen up 
Let me do it. Because with, um... So you can't place both of those, but I had managed to figure out a way to, like, glitch it out so that I could stack them. lower foreground item. This is lower foreground item, so it should remove. Yes! Okay. I'm gonna save it. Ah! Damn it, but why is it not showing? Oh, you know what? But hey, okay. So hear me out. It didn't show when I had glitched the hot tub and the cupid arrows on Crocus, but it was still like in the preview, but it still showed up. So I'm curious. Let's see if we can glitch this out properly. Um, and see if it shows up on her pet page. Doesn't show up here. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see. Bear with me. And it doesn't show up there either. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Wonder if they fixed whatever was causing the glitch. Yeah, it just pops back up. And it wasn't doing that with the hot tub or the, uh... <laughs> I want both of these. Neopets, pets, please just oblige me. I don't think it's gonna work. You don't want to watch me fiddling around with this for. Ages. <laughs> It shows up here now. Damn it! Alright, whatever. Whatever, Neopets. There's no reason why those items shouldn't stack. I mean, obviously, I know that they take this place in the same whatever sphere of placement, but, like, come on. Don't give us a cool item like those crystals and, like, not expect us to use it with multiple different things. Like, if it doesn't look good... We're not going to use it. Like, some people might, but, like, we're not going to freaking use it if it doesn't look good. Anyway, whatever. Um, let's go ahead and collect our 20k. And then, so, my weekly, because I didn't want to keep refreshing, is a mythical tablet. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's still selling for pretty high. So, we're going to go ahead and claim that. I'm probably going to just shove it in my safety deposit box. And... Hope that next week we finally get freaking, I don't know, more Crocs or something. I think, because I, okay, I really wanted Fairy Croc Morphing Potion. Got that. I really, not through the questing, but I bought it. I really wanted Crocs, okay? I bought, like, two of them, and then I got one through the weekly reward. All right, cool. But I could still use more Crocs. Um, I could use a lot more Crocs, actually, okay? The Fairy Kadoti, I finally caved and I bought one yesterday, but I was like, who did I want to put this on? I couldn't even remember by that point. I'm like, I could put it on Kadoti and it'll still only be a few days out of sync with her uh, age, you know? Um... Because I hate that it doesn't show. There's a lot of that are bugging me about Neopets today. I don't know what it is. So 371 hours old. Uh, Snow Kadoti. And. Forget this. I'm going to freaking 
the superior Neopets overview is this one, the quick ref. Um, okay, so Kadoti is 58 days and Doty for, uh, is 15 days and 11 hours. So 58 days, 15 days. Like that's not a huge situation, situation, you know? I can't she's 58 days already. Like, what? I feel like I just created her. Um, so I could remove Doty and give her the fairy Kadoti instead. Um, originally, I wanted to give her to Creamia, but. Premia is 72 days old and Flower Crown is 71 days old. And so I'm like, um, you know what? Her spring mackerel Flower Crown is cute. And even though I wanted originally to give her a Fairy Kadoti, the fact that they're one day apart from each other is fine by me. You know, she's Pastel Drake. She's Pastel... Fairy spring treble fluff thing. Um, it's cute. It works. I'm fine with it. I don't need to give her a fairy kadoti. So she was originally who I wanted to give fairy kadoti to. I don't care anymore because they're gonna age really well together. Um like I I did disconnect um old grandpa, which was a zapped, uh, flowed that turned, it was a flowed that got zapped into, what is this thing called? Uh, elderly gathow. And I was like, I really like it. Um, but I actually got an elderly gathow right after, because I was like, you know what? I want to make this permanent. I don't really like when it says zapped as much. I mean, it's fine. Um, there's really cute exclusive zappery pets. But I was like, you know what? The age is not too bad. Like, I hadn't connected her too long ago. She's only 69 days old. Nice. Um, so, it was, it was okay. It was fine. Fine by me. Same thing, like, Kadoti is 15 days, like, this is connected to her only 15 days ago, versus 58 days. So, at this point, I could disconnect them, and it, and I think it would be fine. Um, other ramblings, the Rograt with Yule, the, uh, Christmas snow bunny I connected Yule because I made Rograt like Christmas Eve or whatever and I finally decided you know what forget it I'm gonna put Yule on Rograt 57 days 52 days okay so that's pretty like close um I hate the match. Like, are there any? Ugh. Are there any snow bunnies that I could paint that could make it a good match for Rograt? Because I kind of hate the Christmas snow bunny. Like, low key, it's just grown on me like mold. I don't like it. I don't want it. I need to get rid of it. Um, but I also don't want to disconnect them and I don't want, you know, plushie might not be bad. Let's see. Neopets Pet Pet Matcher on Jelly Neo. Let's go ahead and throw Rograt in here. 
and Snow Bunny. So originally I was thinking, I know I didn't say it out loud, but originally I was thinking Tyranian because Tyranian paintbrushes are really cheap and that's easy to get. Um, but I don't think it matches. And the reason I was thinking Tyranian is, aside from it being cheap, is the fact that Trombies are from Tyrania, right? That makes sense. But mm, am I feeling it? Not really. Uh, the other one that I was thinking was Blushy, which, I, I mean, honestly, that's not that bad. Like, the colors kind of match. Like, they both got yellow body with green accent. I feel like I could see it. What would be the most ideal? Um, do we think? Let's find out. Let's see. Oh, birthday Grusselin is cute, but no, that's not going to match. Um, like anything blue is going to work. Uh, croc, eh, not for him. Um, a rock. No. Um. Desert rocks are really cute. Man, 20k, that's dropped a lot. Let's see. I feel like I'll know it when I see it, if anything pops out at me. No. I love the Halloween croc. I would just give all my pets croc pet pets. Like, is that what we're doing? No. <laughs> no. Um. I mean, though, honestly, with, like, the dark background, that's not a bad option. But no, I'm not going to give all my pets crocs. It's not happening. It's not happening. There has to be something I like more than this. Has to be. Uh, I wish there was baby colored pet pet paintbrushes. Because I think that that would be really cute to match some pet pet some pet pets with you know the babies like, I think they got baby pet pet paintbrushes on Brendo's cafe but uh, those are kind of cute but no um oh that's cool looking but not for him I mean, it really doesn't look bad, though. It's better than the freaking Christmas snow bunny, if I'm being honest. Okay, so nothing really for Tyranian pet pets. I don't know. This might have to be something that I figure out another day. See, like, I feel like a croc could work. Because Crocs are Tyranian pet pets originally, even though you would think that they would be from Croc Island, but, uh, just looking through the list real quick to see if there's anything that pops out at me. Eh. I don't know. I see, like, I feel like this is something I'd have to figure out soon. I'd have to figure it out soon if I want to switch it because originally I did it because I was like, oh, I'll just get the avatar for having it detached for 100 days. But then I'm like, I know for a fact I'm not going to want to detach it when they're both a year old. 
age together. You know what I mean? Being only a few days apart, like, it was a split decision to attach it, and I kind of regret that. Um, but, I mean, I could play it at plushy, and I might regret the decision less. Maybe. It could work. Right? Babies with plushies. It could work. I want to try the plushy paintbrushes. It's like, freaking 20 million, aren't they? Well, cheaper just to buy the plushy pet. Oh, they're only 425000 Okay. 895000 Okay, that's not terrible. Um, maybe I'll buy one of those. What about... What else is plushy, now that I'm looking at that paintbrush? M and P. Okay. Oops. Oh my gosh, the Baba is really cute. Um, the plushy Buzz. Oh, jeez. Plushy Candy Chan. All of these are really freaking cute. The Clompkin. Oh my god. Um, I just, ugh. they need to turn more pets, they need to turn more pet pets into pets, in my opinion. Like, Croc being the only pet, pet that can turn into a real pet, like, that's such a great feature, in my opinion. They should do it with at least one other should do at least one other pet pet. Um, who do you think would make a great neo pet that's a pet pet? Like Slorg would be pretty funny in my opinion. Or Spider. Like I always thought Termac would be one of those pets that could turn into a pet pet. I mean, other way around, pet pet that could turn into a pet. I always thought that, like, the Termac had potential since you had, like, the Termaculus, but I guess that's just a special thing in and of itself. Um, plus, there's already a lot of, like, dinosaur pets already. Not that that's a bad thing. Um, like, Vollard would be cute. Oh my god, like a sludgy. Can you imagine a sludgy pet? I think that would be really cute. Um, Hassie. Could you imagine giant Hassies running around Neopia? I don't know. But anyway, I think that we have done all of the dailies. No, we haven't. What am I talking about? I'm over here been ranting like it's post- dailies and we haven't even done some of the most important things of the day what's wrong with me today i am obviously not doing well we haven't done blabre so like our last pet ben jenny i had attached a pet and it zapped into a plushy croc um my current lab rat is also and probably always moving forward is going to have a lab pet pet so we're going to zap blue who is attached to our current lab pet and nothing happened okay so our current lab pet um if you haven't seen last video is uh really cute um bory Named Generous, 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 and he gains two levels. Let's see if we can zap him again. And Generous was a name on my list of pets that I would like a name for, so I don't know if I'm gonna like zap him to trade him or if we're just gonna. We'll see where it goes, you know? We'll see where it goes. And last zap of the day. And basically nothing's happened to him today. All right, fun. Last but not least, we have 
that alone. And battling Jetsam Ace on medium still, even though ELT is starting to get up there in stats. Starting to. I, I know I can take him on hard, but I think it takes two hits. So we're going to continue battling him in medium. So we have a weak bottled light fairy. The last couple days, this past week, I've gotten quite a few um, code stones and nerk mids. So I'm hoping to have another equally profitable week, if not better. So let's see what Jets and Mace has in store for us today. Come on, Jetsum. Blue code stone. All right. Not bad, not bad. Let's see if we can get some more. And Neo points are always appreciative. It would be nice if we could generate more Neo points for stuff like this, or um, I'll always be an advocate of being able to run the wheels and stuff on multiple accounts. Like, obviously, I don't do it, but you should be able to, considering that most of the prizes are garbage. And you'll have your long streaks of garbage from those things. So I could see if they upped it, got better at um, like what the prizes are, you know, so that you get cool stuff more frequently. Like that would be nice. Then, yeah, like obviously, you know, keep it to the one account restriction, but if they're going to keep it the same, which I don't think they are, multiple accounts would be nice. Just so you have a little bit of an extra percentage of getting something better, you know what I mean? And it still wouldn't flood the market because you know that almost every single day, all five of your accounts are going to be garbage. You know what I mean? Um, but besides that... Um, I also kind of wish that they did a similar thing to like what Grundo's Cafe does for games, where you just have like a cap of how many Neo points you can make per day in games, and I think Grundo's Cafe is like 60k. I personally think that that cap should be 100k, personally. Because I don't always do 100k worth of games a day in general. And, like, what's the difference between 60 and 100, really? Like, what's 40k going to do a day? I mean, I'm pretty sure they've, you know, done a lot of, like, balancing to get to the number that they did. But I think that they could push it to 100. I mean, I I definitely don't do 60k a day every day. You know, and I probably still wouldn't do 60k a day, every day on, you know, retail Neopets. But not a single code stone. Come on, Jetsum. Really gypped us today. <sighs> but yeah, so in other news, there was the AMA, what, yesterday, a couple days ago? Um which was talk talking a little bit about Neopass. Um, I mean, it's definitely worth watching. Definitely go check it out. But um, I definitely think that Neopass in general um, might be really cool because they were talking about how it's probably going to roll out sometime, I think, in early March, or that's going to be the... The new game that's coming out in early March that um, you can earn real Neopoints for regular Neopets 
or something like that. Like, I think Dom said something to that effect. Okay, don't quote me. Go watch the video for yourself. Um, but if that's the case, I'm definitely going to play that. Like, yes. Aside from the fact that it looks interesting, I'm motivated by if I can make Neo points in my game, I'm going to play it. If I can't make Neo points in Fairy's Hope, I'm not going to play it. That game does not benefit me. I don't like those types of games. But I would play it if I could make Neo points. I used to play the ghoul catchers or whatever it was that Neo pets had because I could make like 10k on my Neo pets account. Like, yeah, of course I was going to play that. I hate those type of games, but I will play it. And I played it every day that I was logging on to Neo pets. I played it on my phone until I deleted it um, or it went down one or the other. The, uh, Facebook Neopets Treasure Keepers. I played that every day because I'm pretty sure you could earn Neopet Neo points or items. If I remember correctly, you did. But I could be wrong. But if I remember correctly, you did. And I played that pretty regularly. I'm pretty sure that's why I did, because you could earn Neo points. Um I mean Aside from that, like, I did buy and play Darkest Fairy. No, it didn't get you any Neo points, but that was a dope-ass game. Same thing with, uh, the Pet Pet game for the PSP. I bought a PSP in part so I could play that game. Um, and then when that was the only game that I played on a PSP, and then watched some of those stupid little movies on those UMD drives, um, I ended up giving the PSP to my cousin and then one day when I was like 30 I was like you know what I want to play that pet pet game again so you know what I did I bought myself another PSP at 30 years old so I could play Neo Pets um yeah I mean I bought a whole bunch of other games but you know what I played on that the Neo Pets pet pet game I never completed it but it was, it was a good one I might have to revisit that sometime <laughs> hook up my PSP to my computer and record me playing that maybe because I mean I bought it I might as well use it um I'm sure I could emulate it but why not use the actual device that I paid money for Got the uh, purple Hannah Montana PSP because it's purple and if you don't know by now that is my favorite color uh, yeah. No, I don't like purple at all. I'm just kidding. But yeah, like, so, anyway, I'm sorry that this might have been a wild ride. I've been feeling kind of weird today, and I'm sure the video reflects it in some form or capacity. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!